Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my bro Jeremy and Bears. Hola! What's going on? Bringing you another weekly week up with tonight's Supergirl. This episode is called For the Girl Who Has Everything. Throw the clip! After finding Kara unconscious in her apartment with a large monstrous plant strapped to her, Alex, Wynn, and Jimmy rush her to the DEO. John and Alex suspect Lord, but he has no idea what is going on. They learn from Astra that it is a Black Mercy plant and that Non sent it after Kara. The only way to remove it is for Kara's mind to reject it. In order to keep Kara's normal life intact, Alex asks John to be her so that Cat doesn't fire her. Kara dreams of being back on Krypton with her mother, father, and a younger Kal-El. They all try to make her stay. With the help of Lord, Alex is able to go into Kara's consciousness and get her out. When they both wake, Kara goes after Nan, while Alex and Jean stop Astra. Kara is able to defeat Nan, who then retreats. Jean fights Astra and is nearly killed, but Alex stabs her with a kryptonite sword. Aw damn. Jean covers for Alex and tells Kara he killed Astra. Kara talks to her aunt, who dies her in her arms. Nan and the other Kryptonians move forward with the myriad. Ooh. Kara goes back home to her family. Alex, Wynn, and Jimmy. Lots of feels in this episode. Kara's family's got her back. Wynn and Kara are besties again. Lord actually did something good. Nan is crazy. John as Kara for the win. Give that man an award. This is the closest thing to Superman we will ever see. John shouldn't have got his ass kicked as much as he did. Alex is a badass. Rip Astra. Flash is coming to Supergirl. World's finest. Crypto. Boom. All right. So one sentence. Plants and shit. Plants versus aliens. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, so we're kind of going to be going through this a little bit differently, I guess. Um, I don't really need to recap everything. Uh, I guess we could just talk about the stuff that was notable to us in the episode. Sure. So starting off with Team Supergirl, which is now a full team. Yes? Yeah. Um, yeah. DEO combining with uh, Terra's... Terra's... Kara's team and uh, she basically has that plant on her her chest and she's off in another world or in her head um, and they try to figure out how to get it off and what the hell it is yeah and they tried to uh, accuse pretty much everyone other than uh, who we all know it was which was non because who else would have access to a plant like that nobody only bread does yeah <laughs> So, while well, that's happening, she's dreaming. Yeah, dreaming of far off places named the Krypton. Yeah, she's with their families, and young Superman or AKA Kello. So I guess that's gonna be our only view of him, because I don't Dude, see. That sucks if that's the only like, Superman or Kal-El we see. So that was it. That was, <laughs> that was it. That was pretty much it. I hope that not. That was it. But... That was what you were all waiting for. Hope yeah. you're happy. Ah, that's kind of a little upsetting. Yeah. And <laughs> she needs to still keep up her appearance since she's not there and she's already on the fence with Kat. Um, <laughs> that was the funniest part of the episode. John filled in as Kat. Yeah. And I, I just found that whole entire thing to be hilarious. So, Our Martian is intimidated by a cat middle aged woman. I know, dude. <laughs> You guys think that Wynn might be working with the DEO after what we saw in this episode? Because he seems to have more knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. <laughs> Over It'd what's be going smart. On. Yeah, yeah. He helped them out, and he found out they were working on something called the Myriad. That's what the project was. Called. I still have no idea what it was. Like, is it gonna be like the what is that thing? Like terraforming? You know how they did that in Man of Steel? What is that? Oh, it made a uh, Kryptonian atmosphere. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Do you guys think that's what Myriad is? Because he didn't really, he didn't get the finished job. I believe it. Yeah. So there's lots of like, lots of fighting bears. Do you have any gripes with the flying in this episode? Was it toned down just a little bit, maybe? John John's. I don't know why, but uh, his was all right. Yeah. It looks cool. What? When, when he did it, it was cool. Yeah. I feel like the whole fight. I didn't scene see too him. much from Supergirl. Too much, like I, much flying. It was like a flying punch. But that's it. Yeah. So yeah. it was acceptable. It yeah. Was Sweet. Finally <laughs> acceptable. <laughs> I felt like he shouldn't have been overpowered like he was. Yeah, that kind of took me off guard. I'm like you're a Martian. Yeah, and and Astra handled him. Yeah. And then we get that whole like stabby stabby thing. Almost got him by the trot. Yeah. 
Um, and oh, a part I skipped over though is Alex had to travel through. I don't know. Is that Lord? That yeah. was Lord's tech. Lord tech. Yeah. Yeah. And she used that like thing to grab her and, and convince her to come. I thought she was gonna die. Like, I thought she was gonna get lost in there forever or something like that. It was. I mean, it set it up that way. Cause she was like, I might not come back out. Yeah. She's telling Jimmy. Yeah. She's like, Can you do me a favor? If uh, John tries to do anything, stop him. Yeah. Yeah. And it turns out Lord, yeah, Lord actually came through for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. For one episode, but yeah, we don't know his full intentions yet. And then John was like, he took the blame for everything. What a boss. Yeah. What a boss. Do you think that that's going to bite her in the butt later on, Alex? Hmm. Yeah, probably. What What do you think, Bears? Do you think that's going to bite Alex in the ass later on with uh, John, you know, lying to Covering care? for her? Yeah. yeah. Mm, no, see, I think it's going to be like Alex is torn apart by it. Yeah. What she did, how she thought she betrayed Kara, and then Kara's going to find out eventually she's just going to be like, oh, well. So she's not going to take it as, as serious as yeah. Alex thought. Yeah. Could be. Man, that was pretty brutal, though, that whole deaded part. I really didn't see... I guess I kind of saw that. Coming. Did you guys think that maybe John was going <laughs> to fight the dust there? No, nah. not too early. No. Nah. Uh, finally, we got to see another fight where like, he's fully like, in his motion thing. Yeah. yeah. It's about time. Now, it's pretty cool. Um, everything was okay now. I mean, for now, obviously. Yeah. He was back together. Karen went back to being friends. Yeah. Uh, Lucy is still missing. Yeah. And we have yet to see. So with Astragon and Non is still like there. Uh huh. What What do you guys think? Do you think he's gonna even be successful? I mean, obviously, probably not because that's the show has to have the protagonist win, right? So mm-hmm. do you think he'll come close to maybe? It'll probably be the like city? a close fight, and he's like super close to destroying everything. But then, yeah, yeah. They so, stop it. Do you think that's Flash when Barry shows up? Nowhere, totally stops it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we can move on to uh, Easter eggs. What did you guys pick up? I just found like the little orb that Kal-El had. Yeah. Clark. Well, what was that? I just, would like to say that's a very highly sophisticated map. A that's sophisticated what Rubik's cube. Yeah. The way that she put that together. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Oh, Does think. it find Jedi? Oh, <laughs> references. Who said that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Kara said no place like home. That's pretty cheesy. Oh, um, reference. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. There's no place like home. Yeah. There's no place like home. Yeah. I didn't really get this episode. It's It was hard to kind of like... At least I didn't see any. Yeah. I think it was mostly just to focus on the... Dude, it's so weird because every iteration of, of Kara's dad... Yeah. That I've seen on whatever show or, or movie or whatever look the same. Very similar? Yes. He looked just like the guy on Smallville. Like, Maybe. almost exactly the same. <laughs> but Maybe he <laughs> ran for that role. But he was younger. Now, what's the common theory is we know that Flash is going to be coming on soon. Yeah. And we talked, we had a whole video on that, but I guess we can update what we think is going to happen. Sure. So the episode that he's going to appear on is the 18th, yeah. right? 18th um, episode. Yeah. 18th Not episode. the date. Yeah. Uh, which is going to show on March 28th. Mm-hmm. And one of the heads at, over at CBS or just like one of the creative forces behind Supergirl said yeah. that because the Flash can basically alter time and worlds, basically, or that's what his yeah. character is about. Yeah. Yeah. It might be more of a possibility, like what you said, Bear, is that... Different it, Earth? Yeah. So Barry from The Flash will end up on a different... Yeah, basically. Maybe. And then he helps her stop Non, maybe. Like what you said earlier. Ooh. I really like it for, for it to be like Henry Allen's chilling there and then something bad happens. That would be there, funny, yeah. It would... I mean, they should have made a reference. Well, they got time. They got a couple episodes to... Well, he's still going over uh, Earth 2. Like, yeah. what, next episode? This episode? Yeah. Yes. Maybe we'll get some reference then. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'd really like it to be all in the same Earth, but probably not. I'm excited, though. Yeah. Hopefully that's the first crosser of many, many, and we all know that the show kind of needs that boost yeah. with uh, your demographic. Yes. Yeah. So, but I don't know how they're going to do it. I know. We want to know. Don't make any sense. See, yes, they could just like, oh man, Flash is showing up, yay! I know. And then what? He's gonna be there for one episode, be like, okay, that was fun. You go back to your closet now. 
<laughs> Imagine how epic it's gonna be though. Just just seeing them. Like I hope they do the iconic Superman like and Flash Superman and Flash run with Grace. her instead. That would be so amazing. Even if because they did that in Smallville. Yeah. With Bart. But this, yeah, this they gotta do it right. Yeah. And uh. Yeah, they should. Now next episode, I have no idea what it's called, and we didn't get any preview, so we have no idea what's gonna happen. Yeah. At all. So break and yeah. Oh, I actually, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last talk or something, but the Black Mercy plant with Mongol. Yeah. I mean, I mentioned that it, it was going to show up on the, this episode, obviously, but did I mention Mongol? You did. Last week you did. Well, I'll just mention it real quick then. Mongol okay. created the Black Mercy plants, or he harvests them, uses them on a bunch of uh, Justice Leaguers and a bunch of other heroes like Green Arrow and Green Lantern. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, that would be really cool if he was the bad guy that they face. Because I mean, the episode is going to be called World's Finest. It's got to match up to the name. Yeah. I see. Maybe I'm, Mini Justice League? Mini Justice League. Flash. Supergirl, Martian, John Gons. Yeah. Or maybe um, just, yeah, that trio. And then maybe Oliver that trio. comes out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Norm. He's like, I can hang too. <laughs> um, and a legend shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> the time hilarious. ship just pops out of nowhere. <laughs> that would be hilarious, yo. But oh, yeah, man. I think it would be the trio. If well, it, unless they do something next week. Yeah. Wait, how many more episodes we got for the 28th? So we'll have four more episodes after the week after. <laughs> so confusing. So we yeah. got five episodes? Yeah, five episodes until that one. Yeah. Which is pushing it. It's very close. They haven't even really started doing any story. I mean, right now, I'm sure they are, but still. Yeah. It's pretty close. That's still tons of time. Yeah. Yeah. So what were you saying, Bears? About uh, possibilities? I have no idea what I was saying. Oh. Uh, what if they introduce another character in Supergirl? Like oh, that could like Silver help. Banshee still got to show up, help. and maybe well, yeah, it's Silver Banshee. That's all I got. <laughs> so maybe well, have is the, that a villain? Or yeah, is that, a villain. yeah. What if they have like another superhero mm. to add to the world, the Earth's finest? That's a lot squad. of money. No, true that. It's a lot of money. True it's got to be somebody that's like true that. Probably never been heard of, or <laughs> they use freaking Kal El kid. <laughs> I feel like this is the this is the closest we'll ever get to seeing Superman on the show. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, people. That's <laughs> all you're getting. He didn't even really say much. He just gave her that little orb and Carol, look. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I know. And then they pretty much picked up where they left off, but like yeah. then he's just like, stay with me. Yeah. And then the mom's eyes blue red. Or oh, never let you leave. Yeah. That's... <laughs> what do you guys rate this one? I'm gonna give this one a John Johns and Heels out of ten. <laughs> Damn it! That one's so good. Ugh. I'll give this. Uh, Touch my face, you lose your hand. Oh, out of ten. I like that one. I give this a uh, Black Mercy Plant almost ate Kara's soul and Alex's soul. <laughs> nice. But they made it out alive. <laughs> nice. Out of ten. <laughs> so, any final thoughts? Pretty good episode. Yeah, it was solid for me. Yeah. Probably not my favorite, but it was still. Like a solid entry. I like how Alex did that. With I that know that was like some ninja stuff. Yeah, that was crazy. Why is he just carrying that around? I think that was what she was looking at when Kara walked out uh, of the D DEO. Yeah, that's what was inside the package or yeah. whatever. Yeah, she so she she has a kryptonite sword, yo. Kryptonite that's, sitar. Yeah, that's sitar. Yeah, isn't that what it is? A sitar. Oh, is like a, I don't know. What do you call those? Scythe. Things? Like the oh, Aladdin no. sword. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you Yeah, that's a scimitar. Uh, si oh, scimitar. my God. He said yo, scimitar. Yo, he called it edit that, man. I sound stupid. <laughs> a scimitar is something that you play. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> a kryptonite scimitar. Oh, my God. I can see Cisco <laughs> inventing something like that. He he alone would make all these shows better. Yeah. Just by showing his face up, just like... Imagine if everyone just said, like, oh, where'd you get that? Oh, Cisco made it. Yeah. That would be awesome. If he Cisco, creates a no, new suit and he like yeah, criticizes Cisco, Win. He's like, what were you going with the design? Exactly. Uh, that would be awesome if he was on that show. Yeah. It was pretty solid though. I liked mm -hmm. it. So any other any other last words before we wrap this up? Huh? Totally. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it.
a lot. Thank you. Come again. Don't go, come again. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below. Comment what you thought about tonight's episode of Supergirl. Beepity boopity bop over to my channel, Kodiak207, where we do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that's coming out in March sometime soon. Go check that out. Be sure to check out Movie Pilot and social links as well down in the description. And with that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow on The Flash. <laughs> Movie papaya. Yeah. Movie papaya. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.